This is Professor Thad Steiner. Today we're going to continue our discussion of the full wave rectifier. Taking the circuit from the last lesson and actually put it onto a proto board here. And we are going to use an oscilloscope to check uh, what the circuit actually does. Now I'm using a 12 volt power supply. I'm going to plug it in right now. It's a 12 volt AC power supply. So it takes um, 120 volts AC converts it to 12 volts AC. And um, I am going to, let's see here, I'll first of all, show what it looks like on the input. Let's see here, here is one input, is other input. Doesn't matter polarity because it is a AC circuit. So you can see I got a nice sine wave here. So that's 12 volts um, are coming in. It's actually a little bit more, the power supply is a little uh, more like around 13. And let me look at the output, what we're actually doing on the um, uh, uh, LED across the load here. So I'm going to measure from one side of the load to the other. And notice now it's actually only one half of that sine wave. The, the, the negative side is actually pushing the positive uh, territory. Now this is what we said before in our, with our uh, diagram, going from 12 volts AC to something that's rectified, it's having the, same, the positive humps and negative humps all on the same side, all positive. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to get rid of those humps and make it more level. So we're going to put a capacitor across the output here. So let me actually see if I can do this carefully. I'll put the scope there and I'm going to use a 470 microfarad capacitor. I gotta be a little careful here because I, it's, a, it's electrolytic, so it's got a clarity to it. If I get it wrong, it will blow up on me, um, which would not be happy. It makes a quite a nasty smell. So normally I would not do this on a live circuit, but I want you to see what happens to the trace on the scope as soon as I put that capacitor in. So let's see here. Let's see if we can get it in the right hole. I hope this is a little more difficult than I thought. There we go. And so now it's actually flat. That circuit where we had AC before now is just basically DC with only a little bit of ripple, which is really kind of uh, nice. There we go. Now the DC uh, is actually showing this, that scope was in a bad mode there. So we went from that bad ripple there having a constant voltage, which is exactly what we want. So next lesson we'll talk more about oscilloscopes. Thank you much.